It's super quick. Premier Inter Schools Rugby down here in Cape Town in awful weather. It really is quite filthy, but uh, it's Bishops up against Paul Ruas from Stellenbosch. A big game that everyone's looking forward to, and many people have no doubt that, uh, or they do have doubt, as to who could potentially win this game. As I mentioned, it's, uh, it's not a great day with a maximum temperature of 17 degrees, but there is a breeze blowing and there's expected rain throughout this match. The Paul Ruiz team captained by Janeman Slobit, the deputy head boy of Paul Ruiz, and uh, two games that they've played to date. They've won one and they've lost one, but more about that later. And uh, the question will really revolve around who best can acclimatize in these awful weather conditions. Bishops captained by Johnny Roche at uh, fly half and two games that they've played to date. They've won both of them and they were very impressive last week against Weinberg. Jordan Deere gets a start uh, in this match in the flank position and uh, that's of course due to injury. And if we have a look at uh, over the years, the number of games that have been played between these two teams, well, Paul Ruiz just edge ahead a little bit. But the last time that Bishops beat Paul Ruiz was back in 2010. That's a very long time ago. And they'll be hoping for a better encounter here at the Piley Reese Field in Cape Town. So those last, those, uh, last five previous encounters show that uh, Paul Ruiz have uh, been very dominant oh, in many ways, but they've been one or two pretty tight games, but all of them very high scoring. And uh, most of those were played in decent weather conditions. So uh, on a rainy day, you won't necessarily expect to, to have a big, big score. But anyway, we don't really know. The pandemic has uh, certainly leveled things in many ways, and the weather conditions today will certainly be a great leveler to the Piley Reese field. The very first rugby match played in South Africa was played on this field and uh, named after a previous coach, Piley Reese, along with uh, people like uh, Basil Bay and Paul Dobson, who used to coach uh, yeah, at Bishop. So there's a lot of history in this field and it's a wonderful playing surface too. In fact, it's been voted one of the best playing surfaces in the world previously, as uh, Yadaman Slobbert brings out his men onto the field now the polaris team they've played two matches away from home this is their third one away from home so they haven't really had a chance to show their metal at home but of course there are no spectators at these matches so we know how things stand in that respect joining me today in commentary is a former Bulls uh, lock forward, Matunzi Fudge Mabeta. He's called Fudge, born in the USA. Uh, in fact, we should probably be calling you Bruce Springsteen, shouldn't we? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll take yeah. that as a compliment. Can you hear me? Look, there are a couple of musicians at the pitch as well. What a, what a, what a fantastic game we're about to see. You mentioned the rain, the weather conditions. Maybe suitable for bishops. We'll be looking to rather keep it away from the forwards. But at least it is a leveler. Like you said, it's a leveler for them. They should be able to still spread it out wide. They've got a world of skill in both of these sides, especially bishops. They like playing a brand of rugby. They get it out wide and they've got the skills. A couple of first team water polo players in the side we'll see how that happens can you hear me in the van all come down just double check piece. if he Line talks to you scrums are going let to me know just give me a today. thumbs up rasta rashibenga's the referee you'll also just be really sure important to get a nice flow to the game well, I think the one thing we won't have a problem with is keeping up with the players because he's very, very quick on the field. He's a very fast runner too. But I wanted to ask you as well about you know the importance thereof as well, with uh, we ready? the okay, importance of all Blue. the situations today on a wet day, and you having been played in the lock position for the Bulls will know just how difficult it can be at line-out time and scrum time. Yeah, but it'll be important. So Bishop's immediately in possession from that kickoff. And they'll look for an opportunity with uh, Johnny Roach to get them some field territory if they can. Beautifully picked up there on that occasion by uh, Christoph De Bruyne, the fly half for Paul Ruiz. Yanaman Slobbert in that scrum half and the forwards a big, big role that they've got to play today. I think one of the highlights of this game could well be 
the clash between the two centre three quarter, the four centre three quarters. But this is brilliant running here from Torben Fissa. Taking the ball up to the 22. This game being played at a furious pace. Just wait. Time off, time off, time off, time off. One of the Bishops players down, so the referee very quickly calling just time off. off. Just wait, the marker. Yeah, but that's Vicky Peterson there, Gavin. He's joined in that, that fullback position, was playing scrum off for the second team. Had a really good game last week, and he'll be important for Bishops. Do you want a stretcher? Most sides struggling with depth currently due to having Masako. to manage their sides through this COVID okay. pandemic. And Ficky yeah. Peterson looking like he's in a world of pain. It might be the groin or hamstring. Well, you see him there coming in. He's going in for the steal. Could you see how the outside backs are really finding the courage to get in there? I mean, he's not looking too good with it. It seemed like, well, he wasn't totally over the ball, and it seemed like he was a little bit too loose going into that. And might have just twisted or stretched his, his groin or his hamstring, it seems. Good intent shown by the fullback, though. Torben Fisser found himself in some space. He was a little bit isolated, a little bit further away from his support runners and took his opportunity to get over the ball and try to force the turnover. But very good reaction from the Paul Ruiz Gymnasium guys to get there and get him off the ball. But oh, and it looks like he'll be coming off the pitch. So unfortunate for Ficky Peterson getting injured in what was pretty much the first move of the game. Jeff Huber in the middle of picture there, the doctor for Bishops, uh, aided by medical personnel just uh, taking care of Fika Peterson the fullback for Bishops who's down at the moment and uh, it uh, looks like it might be a sad end for him in this particular match after just a couple of minutes of play and uh, certainly we wish him well but uh, as he went in to steal that ball it was a, a really powerful pack of forwards that uh, almost rolled over him Had a very good game last week against Weinberg in the fullback position. He was very much part of the mix. Just grab this quickly. Just come grab that. And Wesley Chetty, the coach of Bishops, who, by the way, is uh, the most capped Ike player of all time. Quite incredible, uh, Wesley Chetty, the number of games that he played for the University of Cape Town. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, what an asset he is for this bishop side. Of course, funny enough, Gavin, he was coached by Jacques Hanekom, the Paul Ruiz uh, first team coach at Western Province under 19 level. And that was just in 2017. So if there's a time for him to take over from that decade of losses, now's the time for the comeback, eh, Gavin? Time back on. Where's Chetty? So Johnny Roach with the kick downfield. He's the head boy of uh, of Bishops too, South African water polo player. So he's a big fellow. In fact, there's uh, a lot of uh, water polo and players and swimmers in both these teams. Looks like the weather conditions are perfect for them. <laughs> Strong tackle there on Cameron Meal, but uh, they've managed to hold on to the ball. Have Paul Ruiz. And that kick might just have. Ah, in fact, it's a perfect kick there from Christophe De Bruyn, keeping his team on the move going forward. And of course, they're playing with the wind in this first half too, Paul Ruiz. Amazing that Paul Ruiz had five players in the winning World Cup uh, team in 2019. So this school has yeah, produced yeah. Uh, minutes, over the years go 10, go back 10. 55 Springboks along with the 37 right, from Bishop. So hold. both of them great hold. pipelines for South African rugby. Rush onto Sherwood. It's a good setup there too for Bishops now as they take it forward out from the scrum out position. Imad Khan, really much a central player in this team. And 
in the pick up and take there from Nasser de Kock. Hold, hold back. Manage. Con. 13 offside. And uh, always looking to try and uh, in the tradition of Bishop's play offside, running yeah. rugby even in wet conditions. And uh, they've won a penalty yeah, for offside of Paul Ruiz. And no doubt Johnny Roach will look to kick it downfield. In fact, I think it might be Sherwood with this kick. It is. Good moment for Bishops. Find a decent touch. They're just creeping closer to the 22. Good put attacking position for Bishops. And Rupert Holmes comes in for Ficky Peterson. And Alex Mieki then moves into the fullback for Bishops now. Ah, well contested by Paul Roos. They're disrupting Bishops. Lost opportunity for them. And take up there from Herman Lawrence for Paul Roos. Waiting for it is Janowan Slobbert. Will he look to kick over the top? He's got the wind at his back. The Bishops boys are a long, long way back in their own half of the field with the wind blowing downfield. Oh, good. That's the sort of kick you want on a day like this. A good flat low kick into the wind. As Paul Ross looked to run now. Joe Africa. Slob it. Paul was quite happy to also see how best they can carry this ball upfield. Justin Levine had it there. He's making his debut today for Paul Ruiz. Fantastic D. Suleiman Hartzenberg. Remember the name? Lethal winger. He gets closer to the action at outside center. You can see the defense here. It's very smart defense. He holds up the player. He's attacking the ball. Forces that turnover. Good D from the outside center, Hartzenberg. We've seen a lot of Herman Lawrence in these first seven minutes as well for Paul Ruiz on the flank uh, position, carrying the ball up. Break up, break up, break up. Don't pre-engage, you pre-engage in the side. Keep your gap, keep your gap, keep your gap. Nice quick message there Just from Rasta Rashivenga. And of course, uh, you want to be a little bit close on a wet day too. Catch been pretty much rain Bind. all morning in Cape Town and it's expected to continue throughout the day. Guys, we're not getting it right, guys. Just listen to the set. I haven't called set. Just hold your weight. Hold your weight. Hold your weight. Just wait for the set. Wait for the set. Yes, yes. Wait for the set. Cameron Mill on the near side here for Paul Ruiz, number one. He's also a South African water polo okay. player. Crouch. Just having a word with the referee. Bind. Set. Oh. Well, both teams going up, so it's a quick take here. This man at scrum half for Bishops is uh, a real danger. He's a great runner with a ball. Deliberate. Imad Khan, that is. Now, the question is, is this kickable? Yeah. It's into the wind. Yeah, you got your loose head is on the ground first. Get your loose head on. Okay. Rasta Rashivenga really using his words, explaining to the players we know in this in these weather conditions, of course, scrum time will be important. You can, ex you can expect a couple of knock-ons here and there. And uh, good to see him making sure yeah, it's settled and your, it's set up, set up properly. Right. That's why I lifted your nice shoulder. Nice and early. Shoulders already bent like this. If you st stay start square, you'll and be fine. You can see if Jason Johnson like that, on the far side losing his drip, grip, popping out. Very good work from Chris Pittaway and Josh Mansfield. This is a very tricky kick, this for Imad Khan, because he's got the wind sweeping across as he faces from his side, as he faces the uprights. And of course, the distance on a windy day is never easy. Kicked well this season, this youngster. Definitely got the distance. But, uh, I don't... Oh, it's over. Brilliant kick that from the scrum half. Yep, Iman Khan. Really good kick. Wind was against him. He had a bit of distance to cover as well. Yeah. And uh, he has provincial colours for hockey and cricket. So he's a bit of an all-rounder. Iman Khan draws first blood for Bishops. What a start for the home side. Christoph De Bruyne then with the deep kick in. There's a knock on there from uh, Bishop. So Paul Ruiz have an opportunity now. They're in possession. And it'll be the big fellows to 
carry it up as best as they can. Liam Carlos, the last man carrying it up. Out from Slubbit. This is good running this by Paul Ruiz. The team is always most vulnerable after they've scored points. And uh, here come Paul Ruiz in search of their first points of the match. And they'll be looking to their forwards to carry it up as best as they can. Tristan van Dijk at number eight. Not much room for him to move in. But this is where patience is always needed. Just to hold on to position. Eke out those small little centimeters sometimes. Last feet there, Pilla. This time played a little wider there to Jason Johnson. Slob it. Still advantage. Well, there's going to be a penalty here anyway to Paul Ruiz. In a very kickable position. And you mentioned it, Gavin. So important to take your kickoffs. You've just scored points. You have an opportunity to have an exit, get closer to the halfway line, and then apply pressure onto those big forwards of Paul Ruiz. But you knock that ball on, and all of a sudden you've got those big forwards, and you have to defend okay, against sure. them and worry about giving away the penalty. And Paul Ruiz identifying yeah, those opportunities, yeah, especially at high school rugby. The kickoffs have been a bit of an issue, line outs as well. And the good sides will approach the line. The penalties those here. opportunities and try to make, make sure that they turn it into points the when they visit the 22, just like Paul Russ is doing now. Very good call there from Russell Rashivenga saying that the defending team have got to be 10 meters back from the point where the penalty was given. But of course, Christoph de Bruyne has come back a bit to give himself a better angle. And it's pretty much straight up. So, again, no kick is an easy one on a wet day. Well, he's got no problem with that. So, first points then for Paul Ruiz. Yeah, at the Pali Reese Field. Look, it will be difficult to take kickoffs, especially with the wind. And an opportunity now for Bishops to give a bit of their own medicine to Paul Ruiz now. They'll be looking to do that, an opportunity for them to apply some pressure. So Ahmed Khan with uh, the kick in, he's got it the distance. Some good defensive work there from Bishops now. A chance once again for Paul Ruiz. I think their intentions are very clear to use the power of their pack as best as they can. Also getting over the advantage line. Good work from Liam Carlitz. De Bruyne. It's a massive kick downfield and it's a great kick as well. That's exactly what the forwards want from their fly half. God, that's exactly how you exit. Wow, mammoth of a kick coming from Christophe De Bruyne from his own 22 all the way into his opposition's 22. And the Bishops find themselves right back here under a world of pressure. Yeah. Had one, they've oh, lost one line out with some good pressure. Have they oh, been able you, to sort right? that out? It'll be vital. Josh Michal, Michal with oh. uh, the throw in. Some good work in the line out there. Ali Bruce and Keenan Mills are the two men. Of course, having a, a very big fly half too. No, no. Helps sometimes in terms of ball carrying. Downfield from Sherwood. And, uh, he's That's got fine. that Let's go safely into Let's touch. Go. Let's go. Line up. An improvement from their last exit. Relieved the pressure a little bit. That was a very good line out as well, using the mock to confuse that front part of Paul Ruiz. Torben Fisser, the hooker for Paul Ruiz. His brother Ty plays uh, for Griquiz in the Curry Cup. So uh, the Fissers. Have a great rugby tradition in the family. Slob it. Again, you can see the using the forwards as best as he can on that occasion. Rainer van Driel and Daniel Marais. Now carried up by Tristan van Dijk. Strong defense from Bishops. Okay, really inside. good read at line out time from Jason Johnson, the big number three. He's been really busy for Paul Ruiz. Four. One out of one for Paul Ruiz with line out so far, so good. And it's yeah, improving yeah. from Bishops. Can they keep it there? 
course, you'll know all about lineouts and uh, on wet days, <laughs> using the front of the lineout more than anything else. Yes, Bruce Sherwood carrying it up. Last year, he and uh, Sullivan Hartzenberg, who we haven't really seen much of yet in this game, Hartzenberg scoring two tries last week against Weinberg. And Khan waiting for it. Bishop's looking to give Polrus a little bit of their own medicine, used with the utilizing the forwards. Now Sherwood's going to carry it up. Be a strong tackle there from Rainer van Driel. One of the key things on a wet day too, like this, is making sure that you use the advantage line to your advantage getting over it as best as you can and then some very adept kicking that's another good one a little grubber into the wind making sure that uh, polaris are back in their 22. yeah fantastic play from hartzenberg star of this bishop side and you mentioned that that's exactly it getting over the advantage line and then using the space up behind forcing the wing and the fullback to join the line back, really back, good play back, from bishop back 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 10. Important oh. throw in this for Fissa. And it's not in straight, so it's going to be a scrum down for Bishops. And we've seen last week uh, the Bishops' scrum was very, very evident. They were strong against Weinberg. And there's a belief that the two packs, the two packs going down now are not the biggest packs in schoolboy rugby. So it's a, a big test between these two. And Andrew Patterson, the former EP in Western Province hooker, is the scrum coach for Bishops. Bind. Sit. Hold now. Hold. Hold. Bishops. Guys. Cameron Meal just losing Guys, his footing there. Too much pressure coming from the way. You got our balls not going in. And again, it looks like that spacing. They're just not getting it right. We need to maybe get just an inch or two a little bit closer. It's the third reset scrum now on Bishop's ball. What an opportunity for them. Bind. Well, we've had three resets, so can we get this one to work? There's an extremely uh, fantastic scrum that from Bishops. Now they have an opportunity. Roche out to Sherwood. And then, well, he scored two tries last week. Uh, did Hartzenberg the centre, looking for a third. And have they got over the line? Russia Vingers right there. Held up, scrum. Well, it's been held up, so it's going to be a scrum to Bishops 5. It's good play, we did it again. As soon as we come in, we're going straight up. And Mansfield, unlucky there. So keep your whole pack down, because you're putting the pressure up. Keep your pack down. The loose head, it's really brilliant play from Suleiman Hartzenberg, who held that ball with one hand, with some strength, getting through tackles, but the way he placed the ball back to try and protect it, to try and make sure that it's recycled, very good to see. Bind. So Khan couldn't ask for a better position, field position for this scrum. Last warning, next one free kick. Your whole pack. And the danger forward. man Suleiman is lined up on that shorter side, the left. We've seen he does very well at getting over the advantage line and tries to free his hands to give off those sunny Bill Crouch. Williams passes. You see in the middle of your picture Bruce Sherwood there, the big centre three quarter, might be one of the targets. Johnny Roche alongside him too. So Sherwood will be the man to try and bully his way over, and he's done just that. Yep, what a call. Gavin Cowley, spot on. He was a unit, he got nice and close. And you can see why. Bruce Sherwood, been contracted by Western Province already. Huge classic build for an inside center. Scrum. <laughs> I mean, he'd be licking his lips, a scrum right on the five-meter line. They keep them guessing with Suleiman Hartzenberg going over to the blind, and it's actually a very good set play from Bishops. First try of the game for them. We've got a game on our hands, Gavin. Hard to call which way it will go. No doubt. Imad Khan should have no problem with this conversion. And he goes to his regular routine. Mm. Wax it down uh, into the pine trees. But that's the man that scored the try, Bruce Sherwood. 
big powerful runner big surfer of course Bruce Sherwood as well <laughs> oh, can you believe that a unit like that floating on water look at the strength look at the grit really great individual try of course it started with a very good scrum yeah the Packers uh, on two occasions now has scrummed rather well now Christoph De Bruyne can Paul Ruiz come back into this they'll be mindful of the fact that they're playing with the wind they want to make sure that they can it can work properly for them Vantage blue there's a knock on there so bishops have the advantage at the moment see a lot of this man to Nasser de Kock who's uh, a superb flank forward very very lively release now release now you leave it leave it leave him leave him get back get back on time <laughs> sure Money driver. Well, those kicks up into the sky could bounce anywhere and uh, oh, a what a hit tackle that. that's the substitute Rupert Holmes with that one so Bishop still in possession Khan quickly out no more advantage for Bishops but they've got possession which is what they really want now Hartzenberg trying to find the man on the outside it's certainly a very lively encounter up to now plenty of action with these two teams now oh, they're up for it they're showing some great heart speaking of heart I'm sitting next to Louis Hart here at grade 11 he's helping us with the names of bishops and funny enough Suleiman Hartzenberg was helping an old Marco Berta in Afrikaans commentary with that four to five years ago great to see him now in that first team jumper isn't it just Yes, over. Now, Paul Ruiz with yes, possession. Over. They want to hold on to possession for a while because uh, it's mostly belonged to Bishops in the last five minutes or so. Yanaman Slavic now. Again, it's the forwards, and this time it's Mifakili, the centre three quarter. He's a big fella, as is uh, Bruce Sherwood. You can't dive off your feet like that. Diving off your feet. Off your feet. So, Paul Ruiz a, a little bit more possession than Bishops at the moment but not really i think field position is quite important territory definitely in these conditions especially gavin and uh, it's going to be who can turn the visits to the 22 into points not finding touch that time yeah christoph de Bruyne not finding his touch yeah it was inside and the wind kicked down field you can see how it's skewing off the boots of the players where the wind as it's blowing we know Christoph de Bruyne has got a huge boot on him he's trying to get maximum distance there but a lost opportunity a big one it's your ball uh, we're playing on we're playing on it's running time we're playing on hold 12 of course 12 you heard the referee say it's running hold, time too hold, so it's 35 12. minutes of play at schoolboy level wow fun drill good play this by the lot forward and again they come utilizing the, the power of the pack of forwards when carrying the ball and then a huge tackle there on Herman Lawrence slop it waiting for it it's got Mafakili oh, he's unable to hold on to it advantage those long passes on a wet day are often your undoing good player it says schools water polo as well Lonoabo Mfikili he was the junior sportsman of the year in 2019 for Paul Ruiz but you can see bishops is up for it they're defending really really well and of course they will believe in themselves of having won the under 16 A's game they played in 2019 so a lot of those players are here on that pitch now Paul Ruiz Jim have more grade 11s than Matrix in their side so a lot of the players didn't play there but bishops will think they've got a little bit of an edge over them well the scoreline certainly suggests that as things stand at the moment this game is far from over now Khan this time it's a bit of scrum that from Paul Ruiz and Khan's found a bit of space I tell you that's a really good kick from him absolutely outstanding that from the scrum route but they're gonna to have to come back it was outside the 22 
Oh, just millimeters in it. It, it looked like it bounced out. Imad Khan, a world of talent. And what a sportsman he is. Also part of that SA early player development squad. On me, yeah, over. Oh, Bishop's come away with it, and oh, that's been knocked on. Jordan D on that occasion, not able to hold on to the pass. Steinhagen reacts really well. We've seen a few overthrows. Jason Johnson's done well in that part of the game. Had line out time with those loose throws, collecting it at the back. It's all about reaction speed. Really good stuff from Steinhagen, and unfortunately, Jordan Day. Can't just hold on to it and a secondary opportunity for Paul Ruiz. Hold, 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 hold. Set, hold, hold. So Tristan hold, van Dijk hold. at the back of that scrum, are you, is he going to be utilized? No, it's out straight out from Slovet and Mafakeli, the man driving downfield. It's a slowish delivery there initially for Slovet, but still Paul Ruiz getting over that advantage line. It's the finishing touches that they need to their moves. Can they finish it off? In a decent oh. manner, some strong running there from Lee Braff. And now it's back to the forwards again in the form of Van Dijk. We spoke about it, Fudge, certainly some great defense from Bishops, but they're under lots of pressure at the moment. Now, uh, Christoph De Bruyne with a knock on, sadly. Just when they had really good momentum there, did Paul Ruiz. Yep, they needed to just show a little more patience. Paul Ruiz maybe hit it up with the forwards once or twice more, but really good, great defense shown from Bishops. Great discipline, not giving away the penalty, just keeping calm and patience, showing real good maturity under all kinds of pressure in their 22. Well, the little general, they call him. Mert Khan has scrum off, and of course he's the kicker in the team too, so he's got a very educated boot if it's needed. Or will they just carry it up? There we go once again. And Bishops in true style, playing running rugby as they really enjoy. That's a knock on. Yeah, Gavin, they're keen to play. You can see Hartenberg disappointed with that. His brother will obviously be taking the field in the Vasti Cup on Monday. Plays wing also, a world of talent. They're playing from everywhere, Bishops. Even in these conditions, and that's great to see, but it'll be interesting to see. We spoke about possession, how important the territory game will be as well. Bind! Three. Three. I can't keep talking to you. You're going in an angle every straight. Square up. Square up. Square up. Well, Jason Johnson gets a talking to. They played in the Grand Como week in 2019. And the referee wants him to be scrumming a bit straighter. He's he's coming in on the angle. And uh, Rasta Rashivinga is not happy with that. So he's gone to that side to have a look at that scrum. Josh Mansfield, Mansfield is uh, against him, son of uh, the media man Jeremy Mansfield. Uh, tackler, quicker. Tackler, so he has quicker. another opportunity for some points for Paul Ruiz. Do they kick it goal with Christoph de Brandt? No, they don't. Straight for the corner. Good positive play this by the men from Stellenbosch. Yep, they want to get the maroon machine rolling forward. Yeah. But I can't say that it's been clean for them at line-out time. But he's been good. Lonoambo Fikili always working to get over the advantage line. But again, really good defense from Bruce Sherwood. Of course, this throw-in is one of the vital ones for Torben Fisser now. This close to the goal line. Is there an opportunity for them to be able to you can't advance before. You catch can't and advance drive, before the line potentially? Over. Will it be to the front of the line-out? A safety tactic will it be towards the middle right to the front stay, 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 uh, what a quick stay, set there stay. and try and drive this over the line stay where you are now for drill just wanting to try and find a little bit of extra momentum which comes now but he can't get the ball down <laughs> 
and Bishops have won the scrum. It's a fantastic tackle back that on the Paul Roos lock. Good D, it seems a collective. They know exactly what they're trying to do, what they're trying to achieve in their defense. And that's a really good compete. They almost got it at the front of the line out, but fantastic reaction speed from Ali Bruce to then get down and get into the mall and try to stop it. But Josh McCow, hard work, gets through, stops that play. Again, brilliant defense from Bishops on their line. That's where a big center three-quarter like Bruce Sherwood is so useful too. He was the man instrumental in that tackle hold, back. Stay out, stay. Stable enough scrum for Bishops. Now, Johnny Rush taking it up. Thank you, 12. Last, last feet out, six, six, five. Last feet, last feet. Sherwood standing back there for the kick down field. It's charged down. This is going to be a try to Paul Ross. And I think it belongs to Tristan Van Dyke. Yep, only in grade 11, played in the Grand Como, Craven Week in 2019, and another one of those players in the SA Elite Player Development Squad. The big man is under all kinds of pressure. It's a really good pass from Imad Khan, but that just goes to Tristan van Dijk. Fantastic work defensively. Look at that reaction speed, comes out of the blocks, finds some space. Good D gets the reward, Tristan van Dijk. Yeah, which is exactly yeah, what yeah, they done, needed too, just about on the stroke of half time. Yeah, yeah, in line with me, yeah. So they've got the try. Now can Christoph De Bruyne put the finishing touches with the conversion to draw things level? He had the benefit of the first kick that he took was from a similar position. This time it's not going to swing in. So Bishops remain with that two-point lead. And how important will kicking, taking those conversions be? It looks like a, a game that might go all the way right down to the wire. And what a psychological edge. Just before halftime, they get away with that try through defense. They lost their opportunity with going for the mall. They didn't take the points. But in the end, they come away with the five points. A good visit to the 22 from Paul Ruiz. You'd have to think that Bishops would have a huge psychological edge going into the second half if they yeah, didn't yeah, let them yeah, score yeah. that. Well, I've seen many games played where you're with the win in the second half and you don't play like you played in the first. So it's not <laughs> so always true. a guarantee of victory, of course. Often the other way round. So now downfield from Jared Africa. Yeah, again, it's Imad Khan. He's just Stay. such a lovely rugby player at scrum half for Bishops. But he, one's got to say that his pack of forwards in front of him have been hugely helpful to him to, to lay Last the foundation feet. Feet. for the opportunity to move the ball. Last feet. Last feet. But there's no quarter asked or given in terms of defensive work from both teams, one's got to say. Paul Ruiz, most importantly, turn over the possession. Oh, and look what it means to them. All those psychological games coming into play now. Just before half time. Big call from Rasta Rashivenga as well. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. No worries, no worries. Well, that's disappointing after they turned over possession to give away the penalty. And of course, it's in a very kickable position. Pretty much in front of the uprights and. Still, as I said earlier, no easy kick on a wet day, a wet and windy day. Okay, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I think, I think 30 seconds. I'll double check. Confident kick there from uh, the scrum half, Imad Khan takes uh, Bishops into a five-point lead. Good play from Bishops. They really did well in that first half. We thought that Paul Roos would have a stronger pack, but they've been able to, through defense, really stop them out. And this is going right down to the wire. 13 points straight at halftime. How long is this half? 
So back we are again here on the Piley Reese field at Bishops. So Khan with a kick downfield. So Polrus this time in their 22. It's very important for them now to hold on to possession as best as they can. And when they do kick, we make them as meaningful as possible. So De Bruyne's done the right thing by getting it into touch. And they can certainly compete in the line out, Paul Ruiz. Yep, They've done that well, but it'll be hard for Paul Ruiz now. You can see already Tristan, Christoph De Bruyne rather, not getting as much distance as he was getting in that first half. And so a really good position to attack for Bishops. Josh Micha with the, the throw in. And here's Khan, neat offload that from the scrum half. So it's all about defence right now for Paul Ruiz in their own 22. Advantage. Khan advantage. waiting for it. Now that's a penalty advantage. So the little chip kick across field there is a little bit too strong from uh, Johnny Rush, but he knew that it was a penalty accruing. Oh, and Jack Pace, Oof, he, he was in some space, wasn't he? Fantastic communication between the left winger and his flower of Johnny Roche. And you can see by the flags just behind Rasta Rashivenga, the wind was almost exactly behind Johnny Roche there, and it just took yeah. that kick right out into touch. Unlucky there, but they're looking sharper, Bishops. <laughs> and they've got territory, importantly as well. When you have territory, you can win penalties too that are kickable. This certainly is, but uh, again, it's he's got three out of three, so he's got a 100% record. And this one uh, is perhaps also straight enough for him to get the first points of the second half. Rain absolutely teeming down here in Cape Town. Well, our camera angle provides the opportunity to see another try, another penalty, the third one for Khan. Yep, and you could just hear the cheers from Doc Hubert all day long. He said, and they'll need to do that now, is use the boot to try to force Paul Ruiz into their half, take advantage of that lead. Christoph De Bruyne, that's a very good kick as well. With Bishops uh, managing to hold on to it. This is where errors are so important. You've got to try and nullify them as much as possible. And in wet conditions, it's often handling Stick errors. And the handling has been pretty exemplary Stop from both it. teams. Downfield from Sherwood. Massive kick there. So this is the, the right wing Lee Braff. Carrying it up for Paul Rose. He's done well too. Good carry on that occasion from Liam Carlitz has also just set things up for Paul Ruiz. Paul Ruiz unfortunately surrendering possession on critical occasions. That was another one. Move one, move. They need to try and deny Bishops the ball as much as they can. Well, the penalties have mostly gone the other way, but it's uh, an opportunity here for Paul Ruiz to get out of their territory. That yep, huge steal from Torben Fisser. Fantastic technique shown at the breakdown. He's right on the other side of the field, but he's kicking in this, in this uh, direction because of the wind, of course. And uh, he's gained uh, a valuable, and I say valuable, 15 to 20 meters because on a day like this, that is really important. I mean, discipline will be key as well. It is a tight game. We see both sides taking those three pointers, six penalties, Paul Ruiz, eight for Bishops. They'll need to watch that discipline. The line out a little bit messy, but it comes out on the side of the men in maroon jerseys. Carry up from Daniel Murray. Not that far, but it doesn't matter. The main thing is to hold on to that possession. 
Slub it. This time the carry from Carlitz. At the side. Try scorer. Stuff is good. Dustin from Dyke. Stuff is good. But now Bishops have turned it over. And they've got some running opportunity. Uh, again, it's strong work there from Liam Carlitz. The flank, uh, open side flanker for Paul Riss, who also is a very good cricketer, by the way. Last, last feet, last feet, last feet, last feet. Khan. Sherwood. Difficult man to bring down is Bruce Sherwood. He's got everybody on the front foot, importantly. And now Hartzenberg, he's centre partner. Stay up on your feet, stay up, stay up on your feet. This is really good play, this from Bishop's back, 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 back. They're just creeping up, taking a few metres in possession on each occasion, showing some good patience as well. Now, out from Khan, Rush. The kick across field, has it gone too far? No, it hasn't. It's going to be a try, though. Yep, that's Rupert Holmes. Wow, what a finish. And Rochi, Johnny Roche, the captain and head boy of the school. He already showed his intent with that cross kick early on. It was taken by the wind. This time, he kicks it, and it almost seems like the wind is what keeps it into the pitch. They've looked after the ball very well. They've gone through the phases. It opens up out wide. You can see the fullback is brought in. Jared Africa, what a finish. Rupert Holmes, he's been so impactful off the bench. Great weight put on that ball. Bounces up for him. What a finish from Holmes. Yeah, and I think you've really got to give credit to the fly half there, right? Should it was absolutely perfect. You know, very often it's difficult. You kick it straight into touch like he did a little earlier. Got that one spot on. Bishop's doctor, Jeff Huber, in the background. Well, it's Imad Khan, all eyes on him right now, from the touchline. Given it a good, good whack, but it's gone across the face of the uprights. But it's still, it's a very commanding lead as things stand at the moment. Those 13 points. Yeah, so far, so good. They just look so good with ball in hand. I mean, in these conditions, Johnny Roche, to get that kind of weight, great stuff from him and a good finish from Holmes. Funny enough, quit playing SA Schools hockey to play rugby. It's another good kick deep in there. That this is Hartzenberg now. Bishops have done well from those kick-ins. They've caught the ball. They've carried it up. Played with a lot of conviction and uh, a lot of confidence too on a day Come like today. Good. Now, the pick up there from Johnny Roach. Nice play that uh, from the fly half. Now it's Hartzenberg. Last of footer, last of footer. A really solid tackle on that occasion by Polaris. And again, it's Sherwood with a massive pump downfield. Again, it's Lee Braff who gets rid of it as quickly as he can to Jared Africa. Try and find some space down the middle of the park. You off your feet, you off your feet, leave it, leave it. Good work there from Herman Lawrence for Paul Rose. Last feet, last feet. They really are meeting a lot of tackle resistance on Paul Rose every time they're in possession. They've somehow got to hold on to the ball. There have been too many turnovers against them. Cameron Mill tackled back. He released that swan. But uh, up he gets again. No. Good appreciation of the laws. He let go of the ball and then picked it up again. Now some space outside. Out wide. A little chip there from Africa. But he doesn't get the bounce he was looking for. And then it's a penalty for offside. I think it's uh, Nasser de Kock. But he has the quick take now. And another chance or a chance here for Paul Ruiz. They need quick delivery. Well, they're going to keep it amongst the forwards. What they really needed there was a punt of two or three guys to carry it over. Okay. 
No, can they advance to that line, Paul Wurst? They need those points yes, desperately. Pillard not off on side. Again, it's the forwards. This time, Daniel Maria. And then Van Dijk trying to find a way straight through the middle of that ruck. Still they come, Paul Wurst. Who can finish this off? Is there somebody? Christoph De Bruyne with a kick across field. Is it knocked on? Is it touched down? All side, yeah. Pillars all side. Good well, awareness from Jack Pace. Great covering defense from him out wide. Pillars all side. And wow, every man from 1 to 15 of this Bishop's side. Really good awareness. Just bounces off of his shoulder. So. In fact, if Lee Braff had gotten up and taken that, could have been a try. Still, though, they're holding on under pressure, Bishops. Yeah, they come. Paul Ruiz. And they've given away another penalty when they were in an absolutely favorable position. Crawling on the ground. And it's decision time now for Paul Ruiz. They're getting frustrated. This Bishop's defense is right up there. Some big hits coming in from Johnny Roche as well. Good double hits, they're getting off of the line really well, communicating really well, and they force the turnover on their try line. What a psychological edge that is in this battle. Well, that might have been his worst kick of the day, but <laughs> somehow they've managed to recover the ball themselves. Some good running there from Bishops, from Robert Holmes. And it came from that stellar defense on the line. They're telling the Maroon machine they shall not pass. And Rupert Holmes again with a fantastic chase, collecting that kick, which was horrendous, as you said, Kevin. But here they are now with another opportunity. We've seen Bruce Shaw, it's got a big boot on him. He gets some good meterage, good yardage there with that kick. There's the chase. I said Robert Ives has started to rip it. <laughs> yep, he's been good. You can see why he quit playing uh, hockey, loving this game of rugby. This time a big jump there from Ali Bruce and uh, Bishops have got some great momentum from that line out. Now what does Khan do with it? Waiting for the opportunity to release the backs again at Sherwood. Some good rhythm here from Bishop. Some brilliant rhythm. How about this? He's got so many drives as Hartzenberg. He's got another one to add to it. And no wonder South Africa are talking about this young man. Yep, Suleiman Hartzenberg. One of the best schoolboy rugby players in the country. And you can see why. Slicing through space. Drifting really well. He's been good. Iman Khan, Rosha again. Beautiful pop pass. Dummies them with it out wide. Fantastic line from Hartzenberg, and he knows how to get over the try line. That's his fourth try of the season. Two last week against Weinberg. One by his centre partner, Sherwood, too. And we spoke about the importance of the centre three quarters today and the role they could play in this match. And we certainly are. So, this is another man who's had a, a, a really fantastic game, Imad Khan. Yeah, an absolute stormer. <laughs> well, that's going to swing away past the left hand yeah, upright. The difficult kicking conditions today, but it still is a substantial lead, this. Here is Iman Khan, there's the dummy pass, short ball, perfectly timed from Roche to put away the fastest man in the school, Suleiman Arzenberg. So how can Christoph De Bruyne and his fellow Paul Roos players get back into this game? One easy way of doing it and that's scoring tries. The possession has not been their bed fellow in this match. And less so the turnovers too, unfortunately. So Paul Ruiz with a, an advantage here and an opportunity to carry it up, courtesy of Herman Lawrence. Again, strong tackling from Bishops. Good work from Fisser. Torben Fisser's done really well yeah. No, backwards. Now, can they finish this off somehow? Is there an opportunity for them? 
Not held. Well, Scott Quick it was who took it in. Now Lawrence. Well, it's the second time Just that breakdown point that Paul Rus have conceded a, a penalty in the 22 of Bishops. They really are at the moment sealing their own fight with that sort of thing. No, exactly that, Gavin. Um, it summarizes the kind, kind of game they've had. They're trying to increase the tempo. You can see why. They need to score tries. But wow, could the promise be fulfilled? Ten years and Bishops are looking so solid. They've been defending really, really well. And it's been the discipline in their defense that has been impressive for me. Now, staying on your feet on wet days is important. Players going off their feet on that occasion. Now Sherwood with a kick downfield. It's Justin Levine who's had to go back for that. What a day to make your debut. Paul Rus getting into all sorts of trouble there. And it's been turned over again. Once again a chance here for Bishops. Last feet, last feet, yeah. This, this uh, period of play has taken us the full length of the field and it came courtesy of a penalty that was conceded by last Paul Ruiz. They'll be really angry with themselves if they concede another Five, try. Yeah. It's been a workmanlike performance from Bishop's one's got his side and, well, not. Probably a second movement, one would think, just short of the line. Okay, and a sigh of relief for Paul Ruiz. It's fantastic defense. You saw the Iman Khan making it, that big hit, forcing the turnover. Josh Mansfield is busy there. And it's a double movement because he is held. And Bishops, last year they had what many say was one of the best teams they've had in a generation. Gomez Zulu was one of the stars of that side last year. And people didn't really know what to expect from them this year. And so far, so good. Two unbeaten games. And here they're looking like they'll, it'll be not an unsurmountable task, but a, a huge, huge challenge for Paul Rose to get back into this game and score points. No competition in the line out from Bishops. This is a man that's been spoken of as well, Mavakili. Big fellow at inside centre. But it's another penalty that Paul Rose are conceding. He's on the ball. And that slap in front of the uprights. Yep, and it's that man, Bruce Sherwood. He's been huge, not just in size for them, but in performance. Great uh, yeah, defensive yeah, work from him. He's also getting over the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing on. Trying to go in for the steal. We were speaking about it earlier, how the outside backs, it's almost something not just for the number six flanker anymore, but the outside backs, especially the inside centers as well. It's a skill for every player on the pitch now. Imad Khan in picture, seems to be a, a very calm man. Doesn't get too worked up, just gets on with the job. One of those jobs is kicking at goal. He's got three already, three penalties. This would be his fourth. No problem for the scrum half. He's got it closer to the dream, they step through Iman Khan. He's been fantastic for them. They won in the under 16 A's at Mark Otter Stadium. But how sweet would it be if they can do it here at the Piley Reese, Gavin? Well, it's been a long time, as we said earlier. Since 2010, Paul Roos have had the upper hand in this fixture. Well, that kick might have gone directly into touch. It's on the line. Captain, what do you want? So Scum? that belongs to Scum? the assistant referee. So they've decided, they have a choice here. Bishops, they've decided to take the scrum in the halfway line. And why not? The pack's been quite dominant. Yep, they've scored a try off of that pack as well. They've got two sides to attack from now. We've seen how big Bruce Sherwood is for them, but also Suleiman Hartzenberg. Perfect opportunity now for them to express themselves. Of course, they need to win the scrum first, which they seem to have had no problems with so far in this game. Bind. Set. Hold, hold, hold. Pick up at the back now, and, uh, well, he shows he's perfectly human. <laughs> Little knock-on from him at gone. 
Yeah, man, he, he just got excited because he looked up and that's what they're wanting to do. It's just so collective from them. Every player knows what they're trying to do. The number 14 came up there, Leap Ralph. Khan saw a bit of space behind and he wanted to just put it onto the boot quickly. Playing with the right strategies according to the conditions and with their lead. Good to see from Bishops. Set, hold, 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 hold. Yanaman Slobbert decides to go to the blind side. Just a little bit messy on that occasion from Boris, uh, and they've conceded another penalty for holding the ball on the ground. Not the best angle for a, a penalty kick if you're kicking to touch, but what they should do, I believe, is just stick it high up in the air midfield and have a good kick chase. Yeah, Gavin, I think that's something that maybe Paul Roos would have done better at trying to instill that sort of a game plan in the early in the in the first half and maybe even in the second half with the wind coming towards them. Just kick it up high, try to get that 50-50 ball, put some pressure on Bishops because with ball in hand, they just haven't asked enough questions of this Bishops defense. No, no competition from Paul Roos at that line out. All defense for them at the moment. This is brilliant play, this by the Bishops pack, and they've got the ball early there from Khan. Now Johnny Roche, the long pass, and again from Hartzenberg, but the drop there, unfortunately, from Jack Pace. It's Roche who picks it up, but the referee's whistle is gone. Alex Mieki dropping at that time, but again, they look so silky smooth. The back line has got some spaces. It's opening up for them nicely. And with just being 21 points down, you'd have to think if the maroon machine is going to strike, they're going to have to strike soon now. Well, they've scored no points in the second half. Well, what do you think they've got to do to try and get some points on the board? They need to keep it direct, get over the advantage line and play more accurately at a high tempo. Well, Yasma Fakili, he's one of the men who can do that, getting the ball over the advantage line. And another one is Herman Lawrence, who's had a very busy game. Stop, 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 stop! Slobber decides, let me kick it downfield. This is one of the challenges they've had. He's not holding on to possession. In front, 14, 14, in front. And it's that discipline. They have been their own worst enemy. Paul Ruiz has in his small, unforced errors. It's really allowed bishops to take advantage of it. And when you're playing so collectively, everyone knows what to do. 13 penalties, Paul Ruiz, to just the five from bishops. In these conditions, it just shows how with their technique, they've been so accurate. They've forced some really good turnovers at critical moments. That man, Bruce Sherwood, coming away with one of those. And you can see Lee Braff way off sides there. Unforced error. It's not a bad kick. Well covered from Jack Pace. Back three has been strong for Bishops as well. And yeah, they are back in their 22 again, Paul Ruiz, as a result of that. Bishops have been better than Paul Russ as well at line out time so dominating the set pieces see the bishop's doctor is the ball boy as well <laughs> he's had to go and fetch the balls on each occasion oh, so much kiss of course there's no people no crowd here today it's the comfort of your home where you can enjoy this game and I'm sure that the bishop's boys have certainly enjoyed it no, definitely what a performance from them and you, you can see now in the second half the wind has almost increased a little bit making it so difficult for that man Christoph Toffee de Brain. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. We're carrying on running time. We're going He's fine. He'll be fine. He'll be ready by the time we finished A lot of authority in the voice of Russia Russia Venga isn't there <laughs> <laughs> and he's needed that at scrum time. We've seen a good battle. Bind. Set. Difficult here for Yanaman Slavit. Right close to his goal Stay on. line. Stay on. Stay on. It's a decent enough scrum. Now can the ball oh dear. Knocked on again. Basic mistakes here from Paul Ruiz. He's leading to their demise as things stand at the moment. Khan happy to stand behind that pack of forwards of his as they pick up and go. Now the chance in the backs. 
Sherwood with a kick through. And another chance, Bishops. They turn it over once again. Now, can they use that pack of forwards? Well, it's the centre three quarters. Sherwood with a carry. How close are they? Close enough to get three points. Uh, five points, rather. Out from Khan. Bishops have done well with their pods and they've got the try. Brilliant effort from them. Nicholas Steinager. Let me have a word with him. I don't He's been so strong for them, Estan Eigen. If I put in a formal report, big number eight. Could be over. You do know that. Also, SA Water Polo at school level as well. Great work from him. Just brilliant defense. They've smothered them. They've kicked the ball. It was a good, smart little grabber from Bruce Sherwood. Just causing Paul Roos to scramble and make mistakes. Eight out of eight scrums for Bishops. Only three knock-ons coming from Bishop. So eight knock-ons from Paul Ruiz and about 80% of those have been in there 22. So Emad Khan from up front gets a, another three-pointer. That's five penalty kicks from the scrum half as well as a conversion. It's good play. Good body position. It's just a little bit too easy for him to get past the big John Johnson, Jason Johnson. Just really played to the conditions so well of Bishops. Good game plan. They've executed it clinically. Held on to the ball under all kinds of pressure. It's been a battle in that first channel around the fringes. It's been really tough for them. And they've also not been predictable. I think Paul Russ has just been a little bit too predictable easier to defend Th that could well be but i think you know the, the biggest culprit was of course the fact that they they've made so many there have been so many turnovers they've given away penalties they've lost ball in good position yep. where they've been in the 22 of bishops too but the game's not over yet there's still an opportunity here for africa and now christophe de Bruyne. No points at all for Paul Ruiz in the second half as of yet. I think they're desperate to get over that line. Mufakili caught in possession. Now the run coming from Lawrence. This is better from Paul Ruiz. Not the greatest of passes. It might be quite a useful chip kick that. <laughs> Not quite. Canada's good. Well, Bishops have turned it over. Khan's got uh, Johnny Roche in the pocket for the kick. And Bishops looking to run it from uh, their own goal line. Well, there's a bit of football being played by the two teams. Yeah, yeah, Let's go, <laughs> and, a, and a dash of confidence from Bishops. Yeah, no, good to see. Look, I think they, they deserve the luxury to express themselves now. Suleiman with the no-look pass was hoping his play would loop around. And to be honest, there was a one-man overlap. Well, I think full credit to these 30 boys that are out there at the moment, or learners, are, as I should call them. Given the conditions, I, I think they've played some splendid rugby. 100%. Now Rush. Backwards. Looking for some support there. Going back to Nasser de Kock. But it's a penalty here for Advantage, Paul Ruiz. Van Dijk with the quick tap and take. Not 10. Is there a way through uh, somehow to that goal line? Who can? Who's the man that can do it? Is it Mifakili? Brought down by Hartzenberg. You can't do that then. Let's go. Not 10. Not 10. Yep, well, he was picking and going. Picking and going. Lonoa Bonfikili. Well, that's another pick and go. This time, uh, it's Cameron Meal taking it up. But uh, so some really good defensive work from Bishops in this game. Once got to say, they've defended really well. Now, Jason Johnson, he can't find a way through. 
Slobbert will bring it out to the backs. Now can they find a way through? Well, the loose forward sort of standing together there. Again, some really good defensive work there from Bishops. A true grid shown by them on their touchline, on their try line. New advantage, pillow side. Still they come to Polaris, and they've won another penalty. It'll be a tap and go once again from them. Bishops defending their line with some pride, but they've failed on this occasion. Eventually, it's a try then, and it belongs to Torben Fisser. Torben Fisser finally gets the reward. The Maroon Machine finally gets over the try line in the second half, and he's been huge for them. As Torben Fisser is led from the front. It's been trench warfare this game. Take a look at that. That's how desperate it is. Diving over the ruck to score the try. Draws first blood for the maroon machine in the second half. The rain is just coming down. So Christoph De Bain with uh, the attempted conversion, which is not successful. And the first points of the second half then belong to Torben Fisser for Paul Roos. Can we get a ball? We need that you can ball. see the desperation just jumping over. There was no way through this Bishop defensive line, especially on their try line. They've played with heart, haven't they? And it's been great to see both sides, I think, not giving up. Even with such a big lead, still defending with true grit on their line. You can see the boys are relishing. Rugby's back and they're loving it. So in those last couple of years, you can see the high-scoring games between these two teams, all belonging to Paul Ruiz. So this is a, going to be a really victorious effort, this from the boys from Cape Town. Not having won against Paul Ruiz since 2010. It's 11 years ago. And wonderful to see as well, Fudge, in terms of our pipeline of South African rugby, that at school level we've got so many good players, and I've always said it, you know, we need more coaches and more administrators than players in rugby. <laughs> no, look, 100%, Paul Ruiz has a fantastic rugby program. They don't really believe in recruiting and giving scholarships as much as the other schools, but they're still in the mix, still a traditional rugby school. They've got fantastic coaching staff and so have Bishops. Fantastic last year. They've been pitching up and they're getting better as the years go by. South African rugby is in really good hands at schoolboy level. Set, hold. Oh, Bishops don't want to rest. They want another try before this game's over. Here comes Imad Khan. The change of direction there from Johnny Roche. Good play from the fly half and still it's the pack of forwards. But they've lost possession, have uh, Bishops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Penalty for Paul Ruiz in a very difficult Dying position, that close to their goal line. So De Bruyne will try and get it downfield. And how far is it going to go with the wind as it is? A decent enough kick from the fly half. They just haven't been able to handle the wind. They haven't really had many options with ball in hand through Bishops' fantastic defense. But now the kicking game also is taken away from them in the second half. Good reaction, though, for Bishops to use that to their advantage. Play on backwards. Well, that's another little piece of possession lost by Paul Ruiz in this match. They'll look back on this game, and those will certainly be the areas that they'll want to concentrate on going forward. Now, Sherwood into a bit of space. Robert Holmes on the right wing. Rupert Holmes, I should say. Khan, the long pass. Now, can the forwards once again do what they've done all game long? Carry it over the advantage line. Just look at the reaction speed to the rucks, Bishops, just giving it everything right down to the last moments of this game. 
Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Forwards have been mighty today, this Bishop's Cup. But it, it's Paul Lewis that come away with it. Good work there from Rainer from Ranier from Drill. We haven't seen a lot of that in the game. Now the chip and chase. We haven't seen a lot of those either in the game. And on a wet day, they can certainly count in your favor. Jared Africa unable to hold on to it. The rain absolutely pouring down at the moment. I think Rasta Rashivenga will be pleased to get off the park as he blows the final whistle. <laughs> well, Bishops have fulfilled the promise. They've come away. Ten years they haven't won this game. They played with heart. They deserve to win this game, not only with attack, but on defense as well. Suleiman was at the heart of it, so was Iman Khan, and every single one of the forwards, Nasser de Kock, had a really busy day. What a performance by the home side. Yeah, one's well, got to give them credit, and I think all-round performance in atrocious weather conditions has been exemplary, to say the least. They've been outstanding. They really have been outstanding. And if you have a look at uh, at those statistics as well, Fudge, you know, at 36 to 13, a good victory this for Bishops.